This is Mark Everett for ICAPC. Today we're in Charity Children's Home in uh, Yangon, Myanmar, and uh, with uh, Pastor the Reverend Dr. James Leon Tsai, who is our friend here and a uh, very, very good brother, close companion. And uh, it's a joy. Thank you so much for having us here today. So grateful to come and pay a visit. Uh, and we want to th ask you to please share the vision uh, of, of charity and the Acts Bible School and then and the work that you're doing here. Yes. Yes. I'm James Leon Tsai, the founder of Acts Mission in Myanmar, under which operate Church under the Rock, and Acts Bible College, and Charity Children Home. It is my pleasure to have raised the Charity Children Home since 1996 in view of having a lot of un underprivileged children to train them and to build them and then to educate them that when they grow up they can stand on their feet and also very good helpers for church planting ministry and also a good citizenship of the new government as Myanmar is not even uh, under you know the process of democracy but now we are on the way to full democracy. And Myanmar has a lot of resources, and Myanmar has rich enough, but because of mismanagement for the past 50 years, Myanmar become the poorest country. That causes having lots of orphanage in our orphanage home. There are also a lot of children uh, on waiting lists but we are not able to have them because of lack of the accommodation at all. And my vision for the children home is that because of the charity children home, even now the children they witness Christ Jesus and the salvation of Christ even in the school, that we are able to approach their families that really, really helpful. And some are graduates of you know, the Charity Children Home, and some join to our Acts Bible College, and lots of people who graduate from the Bible College are working in different parts of the country. There are more than 1,100 graduates of our Bible College are working in different denominations, and different parts of the country and even right now here we have nine staff from our charity children home they grow up and they graduate from their charity children home we are really proud of having these people because they have been quite familiar and they have been quite familiar with my leadership style and we have no problem in dealing with them and it's a kind of God's blessing. And in fact, I have met uh, Pastor Mark Capet in 1998 and that was a great good testimony. <laughs> he was arrested by, but God delivered him in his own miraculous way. <laughs> and after 10 years, the Lord uh, in his own good time and get together and have a very good meeting there in Cambodia and then started supporting financially to our charity children home that makes really successful and children are very very happy enjoying with everyday hot meals because of you know behind Pastor Market but Faithful people put your hands to give hot meals for our children and educate them. And we also intend that you, you know, uh, uh, join in the higher uh, education, maybe some are in professional line and some are in the art department, as Myanmar is now opening the way and 
coming into a full democracy and economic is opening and new education system is coming and the open door is a very much a privilege for our children. Uh, I also would like to mention Myanmar because Myanmar has been known as Burma since many, many, many years ago. But in 1990, they changed Burma into Myanmar. In fact, Burma is the pronunciation given by the British. The original name is Myanmar. Myan is very fast and then Ma is very strong. So the meaning of Myanmar is very, very fast and very strong. And even they change the capital city, Yangon, it's uh, taken from Rangoon. In fact, Rangoon is also the British pronoun uh, the pronunciation. In fact, the original name is Yang Gong. Yang is enemy and Gong is Finnish. So, enemy Finnish, no more enemy. So, the original name, Yang Gong, and the original name, Myanmar, is a very good and beautiful name. And I'm very happy, and as uh, the Lord opening way for the whole Myanmar, I believe our children have a great opportunity to coming up in education. Some are in support and some will be involving in business and new companies there. So I'm really happy to work with SEIPC. And in fact, this is a divine guidance. And I believe uh, for the days to come, we'll have a better life will have a better education, will have a, a better you know, business, but all these things is possible through your cooperation and your kind help. Thank you very much for this opportunity. May God bless you all. Thank you.